Lebanon is experiencing a so-called trash crisis, so severe that it's threatening to undermine the country's constitution. The unprecedented trash crisis has sent people onto the streets. While Prime Minister Tamam Salam has even talked about resigning from his post over the issue, the trash crisis started after residents living near the Nama landfill enforced the government pledge to close down the landfill on July the 17th, and refused to any talks about a possible extension, since the government could not find an alternative site. The government pledged last year that the landfill would be closed and an alternative site would be found. But the date came and went with no solution found. According to the constitution, the cabinet takes charge of the president's post in case of vacancy, which has been the case since May the 25th, 2014, after the six-year term of President Michel Soulaimon ended and the parliament failed to elect a new president. Trash collection resumed on Monday evening, but anti-trash activists blocked several roads in Beirut. To protest the authorities' failure to find a permanent solution to the waste crisis, Salam has threatened to resign office if there is no proper handling of the crisis and the participation of all the political forces. It is a national crisis and not a political difference.